For today's role, we're going to combine three strategies, a conservative starting strategy, an aggressive strategy if we're winning, and if we're rolling a lot of sevens, a more seven out strategy. Welcome to my new viewers, to my subscribers, welcome back. My name is Mike. This is my channel where I look at, review, and try different crap strategies. Thanks for joining. Hey everybody, it's Mike. Thanks for joining. So I rolled the strategy earlier this morning, but the audio didn't turn out very well. So I just deleted it and I'm going to go ahead and just provide a commentary as we go. But this is a combination strategy. We're going to basically be starting off with the conservative 44 inside, also known as the double tap from Casino Quest. So here I am set up with 44 inside after rolling an initial five. Uh, then my first roll is a seven. So that was a quick loss. So we have to set back up. And this time we decide to double our initial inside bet. So now we have 88 inside trying to make up that loss. So we rolled a 10. We got a couple numbers that don't help. There's a five that helps us out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take the five and we're going to power press that. I believe we're going to power press that up to 50. Yeah, we're going to power press up to 50. And then there's a seven out. So right away, we're in the hole. So I think we're going to transition. I think we're going to transition probably down to the seven wins strategy from. Yeah, we're going to go to seven wins. This was a strategy that. Um, oops, that Waylon, Waylon's Way video showed us. Um, basically you're putting $25 place bets on the four and the 10 and a lay bet of 100 behind the five. So it looks like our first try wasn't too successful. So looks like we now are going to push the lay bet up to 200, try to make that up a little bit here. So there's an eight. Again, this has another, this roll has another lot of dead rolls that you just have to work your way through. The sevens help us here. So when we roll a seven, we actually win. And that's why it's called seven wins. So that got us out of the hole. So we're going to go ahead and transition over to the more aggressive 96 across strategy. And of course, we roll a seven right off the top. Let's go ahead and get set back up here. We're back at 96 across. We've got uh, all of our bets working here and we rolled a 10 that paid 30. So what we're going to do with the 96 across is we're going to take the winnings and the bet, push them towards the inside. We're going to try to build a tower on the six or the eight. So as you can see there, we rolled the eight. We took the winnings of the eight plus the bet of the eight, pushed it over to the six. And this is a good strategy and a fun strategy if you can hit a six or an eight after you start building your tower. And there we just hit the six. So that helps, gets us back into positive territory. So we're going to take all those bets down and it looks like we're going back to the 96 across. And of course, there's a seven out, puts us back into negative territory. So we're going to set back up. Okay, there's a six. So we're going to take the, the winnings of the six plus the bet on the six and put it on a tower on the eight. So what we want to do now is hit the eight um, and collect. So there's another six that didn't help. There's the eight that paid $70. So that got us back into positive territory. So we're going to take that down. And I think we're going to go ahead and go across one more time here. Uh, this is at a $25 level. So we're going at 160 across. So whenever you hit your seven, you've always got that option to progress up the ladder, down the ladder, whatever you want. It looks like I'm trying pretty much anything I can to get out of the hole here. Um, looks like I'm at a positive $100 now, and there's a nice hit, the six hit. So we just took all that down, and it looks like we're going to progress. And we're going we're gonna to transition back to 96 across, of course, and then we hit a seven. So we're going to go ahead and transition over to Wayland's Way, seven wins. Let's see if we can't get this back and built back up. Again, a lot of bets that don't do anything for us. All we're looking for here is fours, tens, and seven. So there's a seven. So that helps us. Seven out wins. And that's the beauty of this strategy. If you're rolling a lot of sevens, like that one right there, 
we uh, will win. And if you look at our distribution, we are rolling a lot more sevens than we are expected to roll. So we're still at a negative $70. Um, it looks like we're back to a 25 across. We're going to probably build a tower. There we go. So we hit that 10. We're going to just move it to the left. We're going to take our winnings and the bet off the 10, move it over to the nine. We're just working our way to the six or to the eight. So there's an, an eight that just hit. We'll take that and we'll roll it over and tower up on the six. So pull that bet down on the eight and let's go ahead. And there's the six. That's what we want right there. That's the fun part of the towering bet. If you can build the tower and then hit the six or eight, it's a nice score. So we're up $300, which really, really, really helps. So because we're up, we're going to go back to conservative mode, 44 inside. When we hit a number, we're going to tap it once. If we hit it again, we'll double tap it and take it down. So that's the idea. If you Okay, so we've hit the five and we've hit the eight. There we just hit the eight for the second time. We're going to take that down. Go ahead and replace it back with another, looks like we're going across this time. Instead of 44 inside, we're going to go 96 across. So we'll just let this roll out a little bit. There's a six. So that wins. Are we going to, are we going to build a tower on the eight? What are we going to do here? We're going to take the six down, take those winnings, build up on the eight. Yep, we're going to build a tower. And there's the eight. There you go. That's a great hit. So we probably should, we either take it down or we can continue. That was our first hit. Looks like we're just going to continue building right on that eight. And uh, that's your option, of course. So there's a two, no help. Okay, there's a four. So there's a win, $30 win on the four plus the 15 is about 45. We can push that five, 45, 55, maybe up to 60. Is that what we're going to do? Uh, what are we doing here? We're pushing it on the eight. Well, it's up to you, I guess. I think we should have pushed it up on the five, but... Uh, uh, there's a 10. Let's take that winning. Let's take the 10 down plus the winning, press it up on the nine. So take the bet down. There you go. That comes down. So we have three numbers now. And there we go. We just hit one of them. That was a great hit right there. So let's take everything down. And we're at what? 55 rolls. We'll probably try something conservative here. Looks like I'm pausing to think what I want to do. And I'm thinking we're going to probably, oh, we're looking at our roll distribution. So, oh, we're going to go back to Wayland's way, seven wins. There's an 11. That, that's a no help. There's a seven. So that wins. Seven wins in this strategy. There's a six. I think we have a couple more rolls. So what are we doing? Are we going to try a couple more? Uh, we're changing the strategy to say we're going to replace the uh, five. We're going to replace the lay bet on the five and increase it up to 200. That's just a progression. So you can just progress up the ladder um, to try to get out of the hole quicker. And there's a seven that helps right there. $76 win on the seven out. So there's a, an eight that doesn't help us. And that I think is our 60th roll. So I think we're going to stop here. 60 rolls, three different strategies with some progressions, um, with some double ups, towering, a little different than we would have normally, but I think it's up to you. If you want to hit a four and tower over to the six or eight, that's fine too. Um, but it looks like it turned out pretty well on this strategy. So as usual, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you made it this far, please check out these other craps related channels.